and I am the face behind Simply Andrews on Instagram. I am a Ray Dunn collector. I've been collecting since late 2017 and I am excited to share with you my collection today. drew me to Ray Dunn was just seeing some collectors post about it online. Um, it's where I started my interest, what sparked my interest in collecting. I went to Marshall's, I purchased my very first baking, um, baking loaf dish and my flour canister and I brought it home and started incorporating it into my home. I have a more farmhouse style look which is one of the popular looks currently especially in the Ray Dunn world and it's where my love and my passion for collecting started. So I wanted to give you guys a little close up of my non-seasonal or non-holiday display. It is one of my other favorite collections. Um, I keep my hutch in my dining room of my home. I don't really incorporate Ray Dunn or any of my collection elsewhere in my home, but I keep it mainly in my hutch, so it's all in one spot. Um, I do decorate for all the holidays, so I do change it out. I have a Valentine's Day collection, an Easter collection, and definitely Halloween and Christmas. I do decorate a little bit for the fall, but I will start decorating for Halloween at like the end of August, beginning of September. And then once I take it down, I'll put up Thanksgiving for maybe a week, and then I go straight into Christmas. <laughs> I love stacking plates. The stack plates are definitely a go-to or one of my um, most popular ways I style a lot of my collection. I'll also use other pieces that I don't necessarily display but work really well for elevating my pieces. I'll make sure all of my items are easily viewable. So using wooden risers that you can find in stores. I have this wooden riser. Um, I also will incorporate wooden stands that you can also find, but I don't necessarily make them viewable. One way I stack my items like most collectors is just by using rice. If you put the rice inside the measuring cups or in your bowls, it's just an easy way to display it and it's also pretty inexpensive. Once most of my items are in my hutch, I'll start playing around with the areas that I feel like are a little bare or have holes, so I'll fill it in with some greenery. Uh, wooden bead garlands are like perfect um, for displays as well. A lot of the pieces that I will incorporate into my hutch are things that I find online from small businesses that I feel like match my decor style. Here are some of my everyday mugs. Definitely a large collection. It's probably my most collected item. And I have recently started collecting some mugs of color, but I have Canadian mugs, mom mugs are my favorite. Here are some of my measuring cups. These are some of my older collection. Also some of my holiday pieces. I don't have all of the measuring cups, but I do collect some. This is the most current Radon stamp. And here's a Canadian stamp. And you can see how the stamp has evolved throughout my years of collecting. And from a collector's perspective, it will give you an idea of what year the item came out or even value. There are some pieces to my collection that I do use on a daily basis. I use almost all of my mugs, both my basic mugs and my seasonal mugs. I will also use this little setting, my salt, pepper, oil, vinegar set. I do use this in the kitchen, but everything else in my collection is mainly for show. So a question that I get a lot is where do I store all my Ray Dunn? Uh, when it comes to a lot of my seasonal collections, I will buy Rubbermaids and I just pretty much bubble wrap everything and then I have a decor closet upstairs that is strictly for my house decor and that's where I will store everything. It's not the prettiest space, but it is functional and I am making the most use of my space 
Only my Halloween and my uh, Christmas collections are kept in this closet just because they're so large. I don't have enough space in my hutch. Not many people see this area, but here is a little sneak peek of my organized mess. This is where I store some of just my regular basic items. I will try to make the most use of space. So bowls and mugs I'll stack on top of each other just so I can get as much into this cabinet as possible. I try to keep it all within the bottom of my hutch. This is where I also store a lot of my collection. However, these are more of like my basic items or my um, more expensive items just because I like to have them all in one spot. My most expensive item has probably been this canister set. Um, it's an older line. It's considered to be the take note line. I did purchase these from a private seller as a um, one set and it's probably gonna be my favorite set as well. If I had to choose between Christmas or Halloween, I would more than likely lean towards Halloween being my favorite display. That being said, I have a lot of items in that collection that I would never consider selling. They're some of my favorite pieces, a lot of vintage pieces in that um, set or that collection. Last year, within the Ray Dunn world, we saw a lot of colors being released. So purples, oranges, greens, we saw even iridescent. Um, those are beautiful colors, but when I do my Halloween display, I stick to black and white. These are my absolute favorite Halloween pieces. I either traded for these or was actually able to score some of them in store. A seller or a radon seller isn't very extensive I collect more so than I sell however I will sell items that I no longer want anymore items that I'm not really in love with um, I try to keep my collection small which it's not but I try to get rid of items that I don't really put on display too often just like any hobby it's hard to say if I would ever sell my collection right now I take pride in my collection. It's something fun that I enjoy doing. I decorate my hutch seasonally as well as for every holiday. If I had to value my collection now, um, I would probably estimate it anywhere from six or $7,000. That's not what I've spent. That's just where I would probably value my collection. That's only because I've been collecting since 2017. So a lot of the pieces that I found then or from private sellers are a lot more valuable now. Um, if I had to think about what I've spent in Ray Dunn in the stores and through trades and buying online, um, I would probably say anywhere from two to $3,000 is what I would estimate that at. <music> 